about your background and what is it that you have done that led you to become a coach? Of course. So when I was a little girl, my mother was, was very sick with cancer and um, she passed away in her early 30s. I was 13 years old. Mm -hmm. And when she was going through this, she was seeing all these different doctors. You know, now you hear more about holistic medicine, it's so mainstream, but she was seeking alternative uh, remedies and, and, and ways to feel better. So she got into meditation, visualization, doing affirmations, um, eating more of a macrobiotic type of diet, very holistic minded. So when she had passed away, a lot of the books she had given me were, you know, everyone in school is reading Huckleberry Finn at my age. Did it rub up on you? I mean, what's that? You sort of imported, you, you, you know. I, I, I took on a lot of her teachings, but I also wanted to be in this field because honestly, I was terrified to get sick myself. So I felt if I really embraced all of this and all of these different modalities and eating habits and got into wellness, that that would protect me from ever having to deal with what she dealt with. What we are trying to do is we are talking about the mind and the body and the soul. In all those cases where the body has given up, how do you deal with that? It's, it's a very crucial uh, situation that a person reaches. How do you deal with that? Well, I can, to one degree, I can, I can relate to that. I actually, I went through cancer myself two years ago, um, and it was, it was, was not the worst kind of cancer. It was a uh, thyroid cancer, but still, nonetheless. That's um, the most serious cancer there is. It's a thyroid is a very, the most important of the glands. It's, and, and, it, and it affects everything. Your thyroid affects your uh, metabolism, your sleep, your hormones. I mean, every, every function in your body. And I went through a lot of physical trauma. I really thought, oh my God, how am I going to get out of this? And mm -hmm. someone who knew everything in the health world. And then here I am working with doctors, working with clients, telling them what to do and then experiencing this. So, you know, you, you have to make a choice. Or am I going to give up and, and right. let myself give in to feeling this way? Or am I going to move past it? And really, I think that helped me with my own clients that I see now because you see what they're going through, but you can really relate it to yourself. So it's not just someone who's, who's telling them as an outsider, like, this is what you should be doing, but actually having lived it, it first comes a sensitivity and then really, you know, understanding and, and, and talking with them, even sharing your own experience can help.